have had it. <laughs> I mean, we've had it with all of these critters, two in particular, that are coming out and this is what they're doing. They're digging up the polka dot plants. They're not growing like they should, you know, where they really poop out, they look beautiful. And do you know what's causing all this nonsense? The raccoon and the groundhog. So I think the raccoon, he's coming in to eat all the worms. So he's just throwing them all up with no regard to our beautiful plants. <laughs> and the groundhog is coming in and just eating everything. So every morning, she's putting everything back in or soaking it in water. So we have a new solution here because this isn't working. So this is our solution, the holly fern. So think of the holly plant that you see. It has a similar look, but this is the holly fern. So ferns, if you have any kids, you know that you're often reading all the dinosaur books about ferns and how a lot of the dinosaurs ate ferns. Believe it or not, they were even around before the dinosaurs. So ferns have been around for a long time. We're gonna show maybe a few pictures of when I went to Washington. When you walked through their forest, the ferns were humongous and just beautiful to look at. So I can now see how a ginormous dinosaur ate them. <laughs> so we're gonna plant these in here. We might have to take a few of these up if they're in the way, that way we can overwinter them so we have them for next summer as well. And what they're gonna do, what's great about this is the raccoon, groundhogs, they hate the holly ferns. So they're not gonna wanna come in here and eat them. It tastes horrible. They're bigger, it's gonna be harder to dig them up as well. So we're gonna put them all throughout here, and then you'll see if we take any of these up as well. And they'll just look beautiful, and I think they're about four feet apart, so not too bad. So it'll look, it'll really push out and look nicer. Ah, and two foot, and they're perennials as well. So they're not going after the perennials as much, they're mostly after the annuals. So our first step is to space them out two foot, and that's what we're gonna do first and get them all organized where we wanted them planted. As you can see, we got them all organized, and I spaced them about a foot and a half apart because we really want them to be bushy. That way, then the groundhog doesn't come in here, which I just saw in our driveway, by the way. <laughs> so it'll look really nice. And now we just gotta dig the holes, and it has some nice soil actually here already. All right, so I wanted to show you this last hole that we dug, so you can see how nice the color is, and it's because we put leaves in every year from the neighbors. Hint, hint. <laughs> And it really fertilizes this in and makes it such nice soil. And this is really important for this. And with these plants, we don't need them to be soggy or too wet. But since it is summer, we are gonna put water in here so they're moist. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of our water in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and plant the last one. All right, so this doesn't need a lot of fertilizer, but in the spring, I want to talk about the care really quick. It does need the slow release fertilizer. So in the spring, we'll go ahead and do that. But for now, we'll add some leaves, you know, extra leaves in here. And past that, it doesn't need to be soggy. And what will happen if you're in zone six, it will die down in the winter, but it's not dead. <laughs> so don't worry. And then it'll wake him back up in the spring. That's what's nice. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one in here. And this also makes a great house plant too. But it's also great if you have all these critters digging up your garden. So we're gonna go ahead and put all this in here. And we're gonna just refill all this up. And I really like how you have the red with the green. It's very beautiful together. It blends actually quite well. So I'm gonna put all this in here. see this is nice and then we'll get our leaves put them all in and then we're hoping that no one critters try to get in here this time <laughs> so let's take a look over here for one second so I wanted to talk about this area just for a quick second so we have our impatience that they've been digging up it's getting a little thicker here so we're just gonna go ahead and see what happens hopefully it gets thicker and they'll make it for the summer and then when they all die down, we're gonna plant our hostas. And those are also perennials and they'll 
they'll really look nice because they're not going to be tiny like these. They're not going to dig them up so much. I think deer might eat hostas, but we have our awesome beepers and the deer are afraid of those. <laughs> we just wish the other critters were too, <laughs> although they knock them over. And then again, we'll just put our leaves here and then tune in to the next video. We're going to plant our perennial sage over there. So you'll have to tune into that very soon. Please subscribe, like, and share, and comment down below and let us know if you've ever had any problems with critters or any natural advice to get rid of them. <laughs>